Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and right now Unity has a developer conference going on called Unite LA. And as part of it, they have made a number of announcements, and one of the biggest is what you are seeing in front of you right now. So I figured I'd start this one off with some eye candy to draw you in, and then we'll kind of jump into the details after a few minutes of seeing exactly what we're dealing with here. So what are we dealing with here? Well, they just released a new sample, and this is huge in both figurative and literal terms. Um, this is their new FPS sample. Example, and this showcases a whole lot of stuff. First off, it's beautiful, as you can see right here. This is using their uh, new high-def rendering pipeline, and the results are AAA quality. You, you can't argue that Unity Game Engine hasn't come a very, very long way in terms of graphic fidelity in the most recent years. But this example is more than that. It also demonstrates how to do uh, full-blown networking using the modern way of doing things, including uh, a headless server uh, on top of that, it's using their new prefab system, their new uh, ECS-based framework. So this is an entirely modern designed example of how you build and develop games using uh, Unity Game Engine in 2018-2019. Now on that topic, you also need to be running this on one of the most recent builds of Unity. This is required Unity 2018.3 beta. In my case, I'm running it on beta 6. And another thing to be aware of is this thing is huge. Remember I said it was huge, both literally and figuratively? Well, literally, the um, pulled archive was supposed to be 18 gigabytes in size, but with Git resolution stuff going on, this is actually taking up 36 gigabytes of my hard drive space. But there is a ton here. All of the assets you see being used in the game are included as part of this, including some scripts to get you up and running. Uh, this basic demo uh, showcases one fully populated arena level that you can see currently in front of you with all kinds of special effects going on environmental effects, um, ambient sound, that kind of stuff. There's two fully rigged characters with four unique weapons. There, You can play with up to 16 players. I'm running this locally on my own server, so as you can see, there are no, um, no players connecting, and that's particularly why. Um, but you can play up to 16 players, a full deathmatch and assault game modes, supports for PCs with more platforms scheduled to follow in the future, and the FPS netcode is based on the authoritative server architecture. And again, you get the full server component, and you get the client component, and you get all the tools you need to run and manage this, which we will jump into in a second. But again, I have to say, this is a very, very pretty example. It kind of does showcase where Unity is going, but you do have to also be be aware this is HDRP only so the high def render pipeline that was introduced in Unity 2018.3 there is the uh, the lightweight render pipeline and the high def render pipeline and of course there's still the classic standard render pipeline this one requires high depth so that means no mobile for this point in time so there are certainly limitations here so that's it for the eye candy portion of this demonstration. Now let's get into the nuts and bolts of this demonstration. So I already kind of went over what this demo is all about, but here is the Unity blog post. And of course, I will toss this link down below. So if you want to learn more about why they're doing this, what the future is, uh, where they're going with this, what the intention is, uh, do check this out. But what you're probably most interested in is this guy right here. So this will bring you over to the Unity uh, GitHub repository for this guy. Now do be aware right up front, this guy uses is the LFS or large file system support in GitHub. If you don't have that already, uh, head on down here and grab it. There is a link to it. There is instructions here somewhere. Uh, let me just find them right here. So you want to head on over to getlfs.github.com and download the LFS or large file system support because otherwise you're not going to get all of the assets in this repository. And then all you do basically is come up here, uh, open a command line, clone this repository uh, URL right here, do a git clone of that value, and let it run for the next however long. Again, this is a huge repository. It's supposed to be 18 gigabytes in size. Um, so the amount that you're actually pulling down over the wire is going to really depend on your speed. So this could take a while. And then on that note, once you actually first import this guy into uh, Unity, expect that to take a while as well. This was actually announced last night, right before I went to bed. And I thought, okay, well, you know what? I'll get this guy importing so that I can, um, you know, showcase this timely, like last night when it was first announced. And truth of the matter is, I, I just started the import and went, nah, nah, I'm just going to go to bed. And it took quite a while. Now, another thing to be aware of is there is currently a bug in the current build of Unity 2018.3, uh, be aware of those instructions right here. So when you import it, once you're done, 
you have to go through these steps right here. Basically, you have to re-import all the prefabs and the models. Then when you're done, you can head on back over here to the actual project. So here you can see it's set up just like a, any kind of Unity project. It's one big level, which is actually composed of multiple different scenes. Um, I'll show you how to interface between them, but you can see we can fly around in the world and it's typical Unity. So you know what you're dealing with, you know what you got here. But uh, how you actually handle this guy and what you work with, that's important. So you'll see up here, you go to, um, what was it, FPS sample, and you go to Windows. And it's this project tools window, which is currently on my other monitor. Let me just bring that back in here. This guy is the heartbeat of this project. So this is where you come in. So once you first grab the code and you've let it do its import thing, what you wanna do is come on in here and then first build all of the assets. So come in here and click all force. This button right here, this will build all your various different shaders, your levels, etc. And this will take a while. Uh, not as long as your first import when it's pulling in all of the assets, but this will still take a good half an hour to an hour to complete. So, um, do, do have some time free. And then once you're done that, you can go ahead and build the game. And then once you've built the game, you can use these buttons right here to host it. So you see here, you've got multiplayer and single player modes. So what you can do is if you want to start up a server and a client, you basically just do this. This will start a headless server version and one instance of the client for testing. Now, another thing that's important to understand here is the game is actually built and broken up into various different, so a scene, a level is composed of multiple scenes. And if you want to start moving between them, you want to use this navigation up here. So you see, if you want to load up level zero one, you click it and you open up here. If you want to just load it individually, you click serve on that side. So this is how you switch between the various different levels in the game. So you see here, we have level underscore zero one underscore main open, and it's actually composed of various different pieces at the same time. So if I want to switch over to level zero zero zero, I come in here and click open there, and then it handles the switch. So uh, uh, it's not just a single scene to each level. There's multiple scenes in each level. So you use this as your switching uh, device. Now, uh, this guy here can be a bit of a pig to load. So see, we're switching back to level zero one, which is where the majority of the game content actually is. And you see, I clicked that button a few seconds ago and we are still in the loading process. So do be aware, this project is absolutely massive. And, and this is probably gonna be the biggest thing that you've ever worked with inside of Unity. But again, the cool part about that is it is showcasing AAA style game development using the modern Unity style. So we're talking uh, full ECS, burst compiler, their modern graphics rendering pipeline, all of the stuff if you were going to do like a clean sheet game starting today this actual demonstration is to showcase that and again this is a project that they're going to continue to be working on so over time you're going to find um, they're going to be adding more and more functionality to this one now when you actually go ahead and grab it let me just show you the repository so after i i've downloaded it and handled it with git we're looking at uh a substantial amount of space being used. So this is after all the comp compilations and such are done. I'm looking at 43 gigs of my device. Now I am not a Git expert, and I think it's just the fact that this repository itself is taking up a, a cubic buttload of space. So that's kind of one of the downsides. I'm not constrained for space right now, so I don't really care. Uh, but do be aware of that. Now at the same time, there are a couple of documents to be aware of in here. So there's a getting started guide, um, source code instructions, animation and character instructions. And at the same time, you've also go into the assets folder and you've got all of the various different pieces you're dealing with. And you're in many cases, so for example, if I jump into one of the characters, we actually have raw FBX files. So we've got the raw assets that are being used, not just finalized compiled forms. So you can see here, this is one of the player characters in the game, uh, the full mesh you get from it. So this isn't just a Unity level. This is all of the resources and assets that go together to create it. It'll be interesting to see exactly where this one ends up going, but I am really impressed with how, um, how much material we're seeing from Unity and how fast they're moving towards this new functionality. This uh, Unity 2018.3, you know, while there might be a few bugs or glitches or whatever else, uh, it is developing at a rapid pace, much faster than I've seen any of the earlier iterations of Unity develop. And they're showcasing that this is a legit 
AAA quality rendering engine and they're giving you the tools you need to succeed and make it really shine. So I'm impressed with what Unity are doing right now and I'd be interested to hear what you think of it all down below. What do you think of this FPS sample in action and what do you think of the direction that Unity has been taking as of late? Now there's a few other pieces of Unity news coming out of that um, Unite LA conference but this one, this, this project is by far the most interesting to me, but you may stay tuned. There might be a couple more videos coming out soon about Unity. And if you are a non-Unity developer, I'm sorry. It's just how the news is coming. Uh, but hopefully even just the eye candy from watching this video alone was somewhat entertaining. Do let me know. Comments down below what you think of it all, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye for now.